The Exorcist is about a seemingly normal young girl called Reagan who becomes possessed by the devil. It's based on the novel by William Peter Blatty, who was mainly known for writing comedy throughout his career, however took a drastic change in genre when he wrote The Exorcist. The movie captures the struggles of Reagan's mother, a single parent and actress, and follows her journey into the horrific truth that her daughter is in fact possessed by the devil. At first she doesn't want to believe what the doctors are telling her in regards to her daughter's normal medical condition, and that she should seek the help of an exorcist in order to rid her body from the demon. Eventually, as Reagan becomes worse, she finally decides to give in and get help from the church. Father Karras is played by Jason Miller, who reluctantly agrees to help rid Reagan from demonic possession. There's a whole side plot with his mother passing away, and the way it intertwines with the exorcism is a great aspect of the film, especially the scenes where Reagan comments on his mother's death. It's during these moments when Father Karras comes to terms with what he's actually dealing with. Max von Sydow plays the role of Father Mirren, who plays an experienced exorcist who is later contacted in the story when things get a little worse. The film changes visually between light and dark throughout, which is supposedly done to represent the forces of good and evil. As far as the movie itself is concerned, it's often referred to as the scariest movie ever made. Even to this day, it retains that title. However, different movies scare different people, it just depends what freaks you out the most. Bear in mind that this movie came out in 1973. Most people weren't used to seeing horror on this level of intensity, dealing with the subject of demonic possession to this extent. Having said this, The Devils by Ken Russell was released two years before this film, and that one managed to have a bigger impact on me due to how unnerving and unforgiving the film actually is. But that's not to say The Exorcist didn't leave a lasting impression. When I was younger I always used to feel unnerved when I saw the face of Reagan, and bear in mind that this was before I had even seen the film for the first time. The most controversial scene in the film is by far the masturbation scene with the crucifix. It's one of the most disturbing ideas and it by far brings the film to a whole new level when watching. Linda Blair commented on the scene in a later interview, saying of course she didn't even understand understand what she was doing when the scene was being filmed. So to say she had no idea on what she was trying to act out, it's quite impressive in terms of the finished product. The movie was directed by William Friedkin, who was mainly known for directing The French Connection at the time. It was important for the author of the novel to have a director who was completely unfamiliar with such material, in order for the movie to be conveyed in a natural way through the directing of an agnostic. That way making the demonic elements of the film seem more realistic due to the natural tone of the rest of the film. William Friedkin Kim was all about getting natural reactions from his cast. On many occasions he would fire guns on set in order to get good reactions from the actors. In terms of effects, the majority of it was done practically in regards to the pea soup vomit and cold environmental conditions in order to give the effect that Reagan's room was of extremely low temperature. The movie is often referred to as one of those cursed films, due to the high amount of deaths the film had whilst filming amongst the crew. However, take this how you will, to me it's just people overthinking things due to them making a film involving something that is usually best to leave alone. One scene I wish they had included in the finished product is the spider walk scene, which was cut due to the scene occurring too soon in the movie. However, it was later revealed by the director that the scene didn't make the final cut due to some wires being in the way. In 2000, the scene was restored in some editions and released in an all new extended cut. However, most versions are without it, which is a shame due to it being one of my favourite parts of the movie. So, is it the scariest movie of all time? For the time of its release, probably. It depends on how you want to look at it. I also think it helps not knowing much about the film before watching in order to be more shocked by the content, but due to the popularity of the film, that's almost impossible. I certainly think it's one of the best mainstream horror movies of all time, regardless of how scary it is.